Hey there, park hoppers. Zini here. It's time for another installment of our Disney DIY series. Christmas edition. Okay, today's craft has to do with Christmas cards. Now, we're not going to make Christmas cards today. What we're actually going to do is make a Mickey and Minnie Mouse themed Christmas card display. First, let's take a look at the supplies that we're going to need to create our display. Alrighty, so what I've done here is I've laid out some of the supplies that I will be using for this particular craft today. And I'm also going to throw in a few suggestions of some things that you might want to use if you decide to try this craft. The possibilities really are endless and up to you as far as how simple or elaborate you want to get with this craft. So I have some twine here, some green and white twine and some red twine. Just to you know, create some festive colors. I have these little stick-on gemstones that I'm going to be using. I've got some Mickey heads that I've already pre-cut using my Cricut machine. Scissors, of course, that we might need. I have a hot glue gun already warming up because we're gonna need that a little bit later. And here I have a piece of string that I've already cut into about a three foot long piece with about four extra inches on the end because I'm going to use this to create the hanging part of the card display. And the reason why I gave myself some extra inches at the end here is because I will be tying a loop at the top so that I can hang it from like a hook, for example, to display the Christmas cards. Over here at my Cricut machine, I've already pre-cut some Minnie Mouse bows in red. This is actually more bows than we'll actually need, but I will show you um, what it looks like when I peel the excess paper here from the cutting mat. But we're gonna use these bows to alternate between Mickey and Minnie heads for our little display that we're going to make. What I've done first is I took one end of the string that I'm using and I created a small loop and tied a tight knot and I'm going to cut off this excess string here so that it's not just hanging there. There we go. And so this piece, this end of the string will be used to hang the card display once we have added all the other decorative elements to it. So for this card display, I'm going to be using the Mickey cutouts to create some that are Mickey and some that are mini. And I'm going to alternate between the two and attach them onto the string so that they have a little bit of a Mickey and Minnie Mouse Christmas themed element to them as well. And then I will show you how we can use this to hang Christmas cards on it. Now that my string is ready, I'm gonna start working on the Mickey and Minnie Mouse cutouts and getting those decorated. I'm gonna start with the mini heads. I have six all together. I'm gonna to use make three minis and three Mickeys. And so I took three of the bows that I had cut out earlier and I'm just gonna glue them to the top. So we get our glue stick. Just need a little bit of glue just to make sure it sticks on there. And to add a little bit of pizzazz to Minnie's bow, I have some little peel and stick gemstones that I'm going to use to put right there in the center of where her bow is, just to give it a little sparkle. Our three Minnie Mouse heads are all set there. Nice little red bow and a little gemstone in the middle. And now for Mickey, to give his head 
a little festive flair. Um, I pulled out some of my holiday washi tape and I chose to go with a nice simple red and green striped pattern here since the string is red and white and Minnie has some red bows. I thought we should maybe give it a little bit of green in there to give it some Christmas colors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the washi tape to just cover like the bottom half of his head here and then I'll trim the excess of the tape so that it gives him almost like his Mickey pants in a way. When using washi tape I like to use an exacto knife because it just makes it easier to trim off excess tape when you're taping with onto paper for example and it's really important to use a cutting mat underneath so that you don't accidentally scrape your table or whatever it is that you are working on. So I'm just gonna follow right along his the edge of his head here. Okay, so our first Mickey head is basically done there. So he's got little Christmas red, green, and white going on down there. And so I'm gonna do that with the other two Mickey heads. Yay, our Mickey and Minnie heads are finished. Aren't they cute? Now it is time to attach the Mickey and Minnie heads to our string. Earlier we had tied a loop at the top of the string because this is what will be used to hang the Christmas card, holiday card display. To kind of hide the little bit, the knot here and that little bit of frayed string, I'm actually going to glue the first mouse head right there, pretty close to it, just to kind of conceal it a little bit and kind of give this a more finished look by the time we're done. So I have my hot glue gun ready. I'm just gonna place a small dot of glue on the back side here. And it's a good idea to just use the table as your surface and then just press and hold the string there so that the glue can just kind of set it in place. So there you go. So our top one is done. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the string for this particular one that I made is only about three feet long. So um, I'm probably not going to use all the Mickey and Minnie heads on here because I want to make sure I allow space to hang the cards. I'm going to space them evenly apart. So approximately eight to nine inches apart. And bibbity bobbity boo through the magic of editing here's our finished product all our Mickey and Minnie Mouse heads are attached and I put on some actual cards that I made for the holidays so you can see what it will look like when you have cards hanging and you can use a paper clip or a small clothes pin to hang them on there and there you have it I hope you enjoyed watching this latest installment of Disney DIY with Park Hopping Man Christmas edition stay tuned for more Christmas DIYs hope you enjoyed watching be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye